In this tip and trick, we're going to have a look at using surface data inside of Inventor, in, and in particular inside of Drawings. So you'll see I've got a surface model over here, and I've also got a surface model placed into an assembly with a solid model. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new drawing, and I'm going to place a base view and a few projected views. And what you're going to notice is once I've placed these, that the surface geometry has not come through, it's not shown. And as soon as I've placed those, right, you'll see, so the view's only showing the solid half of the molding. Now to show these, um, you just expand the view, and you're going to have to expand each view as you go through. But what you can do is right-click on the, on the actual assembly and go include all surface geometry, and again, include all surfaces, and go through each view and switch the surfaces on. You'll notice that as you click on that, it automatically updates in the view and you have the surface geometry come through. You could, if you wanted to, turn the surface model into a solid model, literally by opening it up. And if all of the surfaces are touching and closed, you can use the stitch command and literally select the geometry and hit apply and it'll turn the surface model into a solid model for you. Thanks for having a look.